I must say, I am almost as amused as I am shocked by Therese Kofi's email, uh, the leak of this email to her staff, and which is passed on to um, other staff who uh, and other organisations connected with the health service. So on the one hand, it does seem unbelievably patronising, and I can understand that. But on the other hand, and I'm shocked by that, but on the other hand, I am quietly delighted and I feel slightly vindicated to hear somebody else uh, say that people should not be using the Oxford comma, that is the comma before and and but, and at the same time, people should avoid using the double negative, particularly when they're trying to say something positive. I think these two things, I, I think we should be teaching these two things, and I'm afraid education has got into the habit of using the double negative, and... Uh, also, the Oxford comma. Both these things are abhorrent. Um, so, Therese Kofi, I can't say you're my favourite person, but I can say uh, that, um, that I approve of these uh, stylistic changes absolutely and wholeheartedly. In fact, uh, a year or so ago, I sent a letter to the Daily Telegraph to protest at um, uh, Philip Pullman's obsession with the Oxford comma. And, uh, and indeed it was printed, um, and uh, it led to, uh, to, to slightly entertaining correspondence. Um, Philip Pullman likes the Oxford comma, I don't. <laughs> I don't care who, who challenges me on this one. I think it's a complete waste of punctuation. We have so many lovely bits of punctuation, particularly the semicolon. Use that more, use the Oxford comma significantly less.